Okay guys, I'm Allie. I'm going to be your tour guide today. I am a junior political studies and digital media major here at Grandview. So right now we are here in um, Humphrey. Humphrey started off um, as the original building back when we were founded in 1896 by Danish immigrants. Um, the third floor is where, where people lived and then they um, took classes on the second and first floors and ate in the basement. Okay, this building behind me here is Eden Hall. This started off as the women's dorms back in the 1940s when women were first allowed to go to Grandview. It is no longer in use. They're trying to decide if they want to renovate it, if they want to change it into some sort of housing, anything like that, but there's not currently anything going on in Eden right now. This is our math and science building. On the first floor, um, we have our biology and chemistry uh, classrooms. So if any of you are thinking of nursing, pre-med, anything like that, you'll spend a lot of time in here as well as math majors. Um, over on this side of the building is our anatomy and physiology lab. Um, so, you know, again, nursing, pre-med, you'll spend time in there, as well as our cadaver lab is in here as well. Okay, this building behind me here, this is Jensen Hall. Um, on the first floor, it's the academic offices of the multicultural foreign language and history professors. Underneath the green awning over here is Valborg Dining Hall. Um, anytime you have classes down here, um, you know, if you have a lot of math and science classes, it's really nice and convenient if you can just go right across the street, get some food and go back in between your classes. They have delicious food. It's like an Italian bistro. So Luther Memorial over here um, is part of the ELCA. It's affiliated with the Grandview community, but it's not a Grandview University church. Um, our campus ministry and campus fellowship have a lot um, to do over here. On Tuesdays we have chapel um, and that's put on it's about a half an hour. There's no classes scheduled at that time. So this is the Crumb Business Center in here. Um, we have our business administration, accounting, marketing, all those types of majors. Your general education classes aren't just in one building. You're going to be kind of sporadically placed in all the different buildings throughout your first two years when you're taking your core classes. In here uh, you're going to have you know any sort of speech class. Um, you could have, like I said, a biology, chemistry lecture class, um, or even just a class that's more appropriate in here if it's a little bit bigger, um, anything like that. Um, our average class size is going to be 16 students. Um, our, your student to professor ratio is going to be 14 to 1. So um, this building to your right over here is the Coles Communication Building. Um, this is home to our digital media production majors, photography, um, public relations, journalism, um, all of those types of majors take place in this building. Uh, this is where the Grand Views, our student newspaper, is made, as well as our photography studio, TV studio, radio station. Um, all of those are placed in this building. So to your right over here is the library. On the second floor, like I was saying, is all of the tutoring um, besides math. Um, that's also 24 hours quiet, so if you ever need just time away from your roommate or your parents or whatever to go and study in the quiet, that's a great place to go. Starbucks has a coffee shop in there, so you can go and use that whenever you'd like. This is the Rasmussen Center, and this is our newest academic building on campus. This just opened up in 2008. This is home to our art, education, psychology, criminal justice, and the humanities majors. So there's a lot of people that um, spend a lot of time in here. Over here behind you guys is the Prairie Meadows Gallery. Um, this changes about every month. You get professional work, student work. It changes up constantly, so it's kind of cool to see that throughout the year. Upstairs is the Creative Writing Center. If you ever need help brainstorming for a paper, if you need help editing a paper, um, just showing the writing process in general, it's a great place to go. Again, it's student pe or peer tutoring, so you can go get help for that whenever you'd like. Um, over here is Campus Services. Um, all on-campus students are assigned a mailbox. You get a mailbox key, you can check your mail whenever you need to. Um, and then down that hallway are more banks like this one, and um, that's also where the campus services office is. They'll send you an email if you get a package, and then you just have to go in and sign for it. Um, down this hallway is our theater and music department, and in here, um, all of our band and choir students, that's where they perform, um, well, it's where they practice every day. Um, and then in the Viking Theater, if we ever have any talent come, like a hypnotist or a comedian come, um, that's where they'll perform so students can go and watch that in the Viking Theater. And this is the field house. Mostly this is used um, you know, with our athletic department. We have intramurals here um, on weekday nights. Those start at 9 o'clock, so those are a lot of fun to get involved in. Um, whenever it's still winter and we have soccer, softball, you know, um, baseball, all those sports starting up, they have practices indoors before, whenever it's still you know, snowing. Um, and then upstairs is all of our um, cardio and aerobic and lifting equipment as well as um, our indoor track up there. 
So this is open to use, you know, whenever you'd like. It opens really early in the morning and it closes like 10 or 11 o'clock at night. So you can use it pretty much throughout the day. Um, this hallway here, this is all of our nursing classrooms. Um, we also have like fitness and well-being classes as well as nutrition stuff. So um, some of your general education classes could take place in the wellness center here. Our student health clinic is right through these doors. You know, this is mostly used by students who don't have access to their normal doctors, but you can always go there and, you know, if you're not feeling well or you need anything um, prescribed to you medicine-wise or whatever, we have a nurse practitioner on staff Monday through Friday, as well as a physician that comes in on Mondays. This is Knutson. Um, the dorms are spread out by gender, so females live on the top two floors and males live on the first floor here. The other one is swapped, so girls on the first floor, guys on the top two floors. This is going to be the average double room. Uh, we do have some single rooms, some triple rooms, but most of them are doubles. Um, you can arrange them a variety of different ways. It's kind of funny. The tour guys are the ones that have to set up the rooms, and we were really lazy and didn't want to stack them on top of each other. <laughs> so, but you can make them bunk beds. You can loft them up in the air, put the desk and the drawers underneath. Freshmen are allowed to live in this building, the Langerak Suites, on the third floor. So um, I really like this building. Um, we'll go into one of the rooms here. But um, the third floor is reserved for all freshmen, so you can live here if you'd like. This is the one that fills up the fastest, so the sooner you get your application in and send in your housing deposit, the better chance it is um, if you write on there, I want to live in the suites, that you'll actually get here. Um, there's five people that live in each suite. <laughs> you get the same type of furniture as in the dorms. Um, you just get an individualized, or you just get a bathroom and a living room as well. Each of these are either four-person or two-person apartments. So we're going to go into one of the four-person ones. Each person gets their own room. Um, and then back here is the bathroom. And it's spread out so you can get multiple people at a time. 